some of us just love to talk about the fact that we are not here the church is not here for the tribulation so i'm just doing some reading and you know god reveals things through his word and i just want to share this awesome biblical fact with y'all so we all know that the tribulation kicks off with the seven seals let's talk about that so right after revelation chapter 3 verse 10 when we see that jesus is promising the faithful church to keep them from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. This is what happens in John's vision in chapter four, when he sees the one sitting on the throne and 24 thrones surrounded him and the 24 elders sat on them. They were clothed in white and had gold crowns on their heads. So who are these people? Who are the 24 elders that have white robes and gold crowns? Well, I'm going to share the little bit of research that I did on this. So we know that it's unlikely that they're angelic beings, as some would suggest. The fact that they sit on thrones indicates that they reign with Christ. The church is repeat, repeatedly said to rule and reign with Christ. In addition, the Greek word translated as elders is never used to refer to angels, only to men, particularly to men of a certain age who are mature and able to rule the church. The word elder would be inappropriate to refer to angels who do not age. Their mode of dress would also indicate that these are men. First of all, we know that the robe of righteousness is given to the church and so is the golden crowns the crown of righteousness that's given to believers the golden crowns wore worn by elders also indicate that these are men not angels crowns are never promised to angels nor are angels ever seen wearing them the word translated crown here refers to the victor's crown worn by those who have successfully completed and won the victory as Christ has promised. Another reason to view the 24 elders as the church is the bowls that they hold. Revelation 5. Let's read this. Now listen to this. Then I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. There was writing on the inside and on the outside of the scroll and it was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel who shouted out with a loud voice, who is worthy to break the seals on this scroll and open it? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll and read it. Then I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll and read it. But one of the 24 elders Who's the 24 elders? That's the church. One of the 24 elders said to me, stop weeping. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir to David's throne has won the victory. He is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. And I saw a lamb that looked as if it had been slaughtered, but it was now standing between the throne of the four living be beings and among the 24 elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which represent the sevenfold spirit of God that is sent out to every part of the earth. He stepped forward and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. We are with Jesus when he takes the scroll and opens the seals the church is in heaven when the tribulation begins